Hi, I'm Scott Cam, and welcome back to Marvellous Melbourne for another brand new series of The Block. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Australia's toughest renovating competition just got a whole lot tougher. This series, it's state versus state. And for the first time in block history, not four, but five teams are going head to head from around the country. You can probably tell I'm a little excited. Well, get a load of this. Yep, this year, the block has gone high rise. That's six stories of solid concrete. In other words, six stories of sheer renovating hell. This year, the block is bigger than ever. We've set the stage for an epic battle. Each floor opens onto a foyer and hallways, which lead to eight old hotel rooms. And each of those has a very dodgy bathroom. That's over 80 rooms that have to be demoed and then renoed. The challenge for our teams is to somehow convert each floor of this entire building into one amazing house-sized apartment. Eight bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and they all have to go. The plan is for three bedrooms, five bathrooms, kitchen, laundry, living, dining, and balcony. Over 220 square metres of prime living space. And when they're finished down there, they'll be coming up here to build a sumptuous garden and terrace with 360 degree views of Melbourne. I mean, take a look at that view from up here. But I tell you what, this is going to be a massive project. And renovating doesn't get any tougher than this. Welcome to the block. Can 10 ordinary people renovate a six-storey hotel. Can they turn 88 rooms into five luxury apartments in just 11 weeks? I'm doing it! Yeah. Shut up! It's not all about what you want. I am so up. That was a nightmare. The <laughs> copy does. Can they survive? Why would you think I would do that? Don't be dirty about it. Oh my God. What are we doing? What the f is that? Everybody's playing the game. <gasps> Mother! This block is so different to any of the other blocks. I really didn't know what I was in for. <laughs> the block is definitely the hardest thing that we'll probably ever do in our lives, but I think will be one of the most rewarding. Wow. I'm blown away. They've got me. <laughs> it's a strong start. I don't think we've ever laughed so much in our lives, really, have we? Whoa. <laughs> what the hell did you just do? It's the most amazing thing you could ever do. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Love you. This is something that I would be so proud to say I designed. This has got to be one of the best rooms I've ever seen on the block. <laughs> Who will win the block sky high? Right now, our teams are arriving for what they think will be an elimination challenge. They'll be spending the night at the Biz Motel. And to keep them guessing, we've planted dummy teams and fake staff everywhere. The room that they'll be staying in is the only good one on their floor. The rest of them are trashed. First to arrive, a Melbourne couple, George and Beck. We saw people in the park. The young couple, and I straight away thought, I bet you they're our competition. We saw people in the foyer when we were walking in. Maybe they're sisters or best friends. Mind if I just serve these guests first? OK, beautiful. They were looking at us, they were sussing us out. Heaps of contestants. That's what I thought the twist was. Not eight couples, still an elimination, maybe ten. Have you both stayed with us before at all? No. no? Never. Okay. No. okay. Enjoy your stay, guys. Thank you. Welcome. Wow, shag lift. <laughs> yes. Interesting. We're right on the top, looks like it. Next to arrive are South Australian twins, Lysandra and Alyssa. And there's something you should know about these two. We've both been police officers for almost coming up to six years. I have always wanted to do it, it's been a lifelong dream of mine. 
I uh, just copied her. We're serious renovators. We're mums and we are wives. Wives as well. <laughs> and we're serious renovators. I've already said that. Oh, have you? <laughs> what else are we? We're ultra competitive. Yeah, that one. We're pretty ballsy girls, so this job really does suit us. We're not scared of much. <laughs> Bring, Bring it on! It. Don't worry, girls, we will. And then we saw a young couple. You know, if they could be brother or sister or girlfriend or boyfriend. Yeah. You know what they say about assuming as soon as you start to see other teams, you start yeah. to realise that he's a gay. That's right. And that they're your competition. Yeah. I thought that when we arrived, there was something a little bit funny about the hotel. Alyssa and Lissandra? Perfect. Something definitely just wasn't sitting right. It just didn't make sense. Nothing made sense. I think that's our hotel over there. Our third couple is Jared and Maddie from New South Wales. I feel a bit nervous at the moment just about the challenge, if there is one. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of challenges. You're gonna tip it. <laughs> Alright, so I've got you on level three. We don't really know what's gonna happen next. Are you nervous? Very. Hard on their heels are Jono and Trixie from Queensland. It's our style of accommodation, isn't it? Yeah. It's not looking like the casino. No. <laughs> I thought we would turn up and we'd go to the Crown Casino, meet all the contestants and we'd yeah. have a party. I don't know what to think. Last to arrive are Matt and Kim from Western Australia. Biz Motel, with its international flagging and yeah. its tidy hedging. Fake grass? It looks like fake grass. It's definitely fake grass. Our last couple has checked in. The block is now in lockdown, and the teams have no idea what's going on. They have no idea how many other teams there are, or who's in them. They don't even realise that they're on the block yet, because they're expecting elimination rounds. So, there's plenty to contemplate as they spend the night in these wonderful surroundings. What are you for dinner? <laughs> I don't know, I'm hungry. Lobster is $5.95. What are they doing to us? Ways we unpack our bags, don't we? Sure, sure. Nothing else to do. Oh, the reception's fantastic. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so generous. Caramelised croutons. Spaghetti. Yeah, onion rings. I love the ashtray. How about the, the dining for one area? This is like hotel rejection. Hang on a minute. There's no dull tone. This was not what I was expecting. We're going to try and think of an escape plan. Get us out of here! Help <laughs> <Come on>. us! <laughs> so are you excited about tomorrow? Yeah, it's just that unknown, isn't it? Not knowing what to expect. Guess what? What? There's no hot water. We're here at the end of day one on the block at an old hotel. We've been put in this dodgy little room, feeling very nervous. We don't really know what's going on tomorrow. No, we cool. We keep hearing noises all over the hotel. We're pretty much almost certain that it's haunted. It's like the kind of hotel that you, it's getting too late at night and you're tired and you end up somewhere and we've ended up here. Beck, can you hear those noises? Mm. I think something's outside the window. Coming up, surprise number one. Your challenge starts now. Oh, my God. We're on the block. Yeah, it's war. What a tweet. What a turn. Don't me off. It's day one on the block, and our couples are expecting an elimination challenge. Time to put them out of their misery. Oh, it's got a message. 
it's all gone. <laughs> it's Scotty <laughs> Ken! Good morning, blockheads. Meet me on the roof, Scotty. Meet me on the roof, Scotty Ken. Making me more and more nervous. Let's go. Oh my god, oh my god. How do we get there? I don't know. First on the roof, a Victorian couple, Beck and George. We've been together for 10 years. And married three. So this is my nonno, my dad, my mum, my sisters. I'm Italian um, and George is Greek. This is my dad, my brother, and these are my cousins and my friends, and these are Beck's cousins. It's like my big, fat Greek slash Italian <laughs> life. <laughs> the bigger the better, though. Isn't that the way it works? <laughs> Well, hello. Hi. Beck? Yes. How are you? Nice Scott? to meet you. Nice to meet you, George. Pleasure, mate. Pleasure. Please. I was a bit starstruck. Yeah, I was in awe of the guy. He's yeah. pretty big in person. He's massive. He's massive. <laughs> Next up the stairs are Queenslanders Jono and Trixie. We've been married 12 years. And we've got three beautiful kids. And we live in Brisbane. I would describe Mark as a very kind and gentle person. He's absolutely beautiful, wonderful husband. Yeah, and my best friend. Jono. Scotty. How are you? Good, thanks. Hello, how are you? When we went up onto the roof, there was a couple already there. I think I just tried to keep focus on Scotty because he's such a handsome man. You nervous? Yes. yes. <laughs> Good. My little knees are going like this. <laughs> Next up the scaffold are Sydney youngsters Jared and Maddie. We're 24 years old, we've been married for three years. And we live on the northern beaches in Sydney. Jared is a pretty nice guy. He's the strong and silent type in the beginning and then he's the where's the off button at the end. <laughs> I'd say Maddie isn't as sweet as she looks. She likes to play pranks on everyone. We're definitely competitive, but in saying that, we're not going to go step on anyone's toes to win something. The first thing I saw when I walked up to the rooftop was Scotty just standing there with a little smirk on his face. <laughs> Oh, my stomach just dropped it. <laughs> Jared, how are you, mate? Good to meet yourself. Maddie. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. Our fourth couple hey. is Matt Hello. and Kim from WA. <laughs> We're from Perth. And we just got engaged. Matt proposed by putting all the burger rings on my fingers and then eating them all off except for the one. He exaggerates everything. It's not true. I've told you a million times that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to win this. Totally. Easily. Hands down. <laughs> don't put that on. That don't mean that at all. <laughs> how are you? Good, Hi, mate. Kimberly. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Please introduce yourself. Guys, how are you? Hi, Kimberly. Kimberly. Jared. Jared. Matt. Yeah. Matt. Matt. Our first four couples. And boy, do I have a surprise for them. OK, people, I assume you've all watched the block before. Yes. yes. <laughs> so what happens now? You tell me. Illumination. Challenge rooms. Couples go home. <laughs> the other couples. I almost forgot about them. <laughs> All right, here they come now. Ah. From South Australia, it's Lysandra in the red and Elisa in the black and white. Hello, Lysandra, how are you? Lysandra, how are you? Good, thanks. Hello. <laughs> Are you nervous, girl? Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for eight or ten couples, I think. At least. At least. I think everyone was kind of looking over their shoulders, waiting to hear the noise of someone walking up the scaffold. Where are the other couples? What's going on? Who's coming? Trying no to suss it out. I couldn't scaffold. hear any footsteps. Well, we have one rule at the block. We're full of surprises. Surprise number one. No one else is coming. Well, we just stood there for a bit. Nobody was saying anything. Scotty went quiet. There are no eliminations. Ah! You are it. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God, he's yes. Really? Oh, my God. I didn't know what to do, really. I just looked at Maddie, and she was pretty much almost, like, crying. <laughs> for the first time ever, you are the five. Teams fighting it out in this series. Oh my God. Congratulations, yeah. you're oh on the block. Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. Surprise number two. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
not only are you on the block, but you are on the block. <laughs> You're standing on the top of it. <laughs> that magnificent motel you stayed in last night is going to be your home for the next ten weeks. <laughs> your challenge is to turn each floor of this building into one single luxury apartment. Wow. <laughs> now, I'm just thinking off the top of my head here, everybody here wants the penthouse. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give each team 10,000 bucks cash. And 48 hours to transform the room next door to the room you were staying in. Wow. And, of course, the bathroom. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen anyone do a bathroom in two days. Like, there's a lot of work in bathrooms. It's the area that we feel least confident in, I think. Your challenge is to transform a tired old motel room into a five-star boutique hotel room. So we went from... Yay, fantastic, on the block. And all the to... way down the bottom. <laughs> what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? Whoever wins the challenge gets first pick of the block, and then we'll work our way down from there. It could be the penthouse, or it could be the other house. <laughs> it's up to you guys. It's a tough challenge. 48 hours to do a bedroom and bathroom. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. yes. Are you pumped up? Yes! Fire up, people. You are on the block and your time starts now. Let's get going. Oh, no. The 2013 block is back in Melbourne and we've gone high rise. Five full stories of identical rooms, each one its own little piece of hell. And this lot are going to fix them. We are on the block. We're on the block. That's it. <laughs> no elimination. What a twist. Yeah. What a turn. The teams have ten grand and two days to transform an old motel room into a five-star hotel suite. And the winner gets first dibs on the penthouse. First of their rooms are Victorians George and Ben. They've got the penthouse for now. But they'll have to fight to keep it. It's not gutted. It stinks. Good luck with that, Beck. What's on the <laughs> roof? The room means a lot to us because level five is the penthouse and we're already here. We don't want to pack our bags and go downstairs. We don't want to be downgraded. What are we going to do about this ceiling? Look at the cracks. Oh, I thought the room was going to be gutted. I want to rip all this out. Hello. All right. Hello. This is going to be my best friend over the past Hello. Next few days. <laughs> Don't piss me off. All right, take it easy. Directly below on the fourth floor, Hello. twins Lysandra and Elisa are making their first inspection. It was a fair sized room and we thought we've got a heap of work to do in 48 hours. We're just in that game on mode. Yeah. Now, now it's just everything's going like shop this, shop that, design this. God. We need to get sh put sugar soap on the list. Next to assess the damage are our youngest couple, Jared and Maddie, down on floor three. Oh no, the ceiling. Nice. And the walls. Oh, man, this is worse than I thought. I always thought that when I walked in there, it was going to be a beautiful, white, empty space, and it was so far from that. On the second floor, it's our oldest couple, Jono and Trixie. And when they see this, they're either going to laugh or cry. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom. That is so feral. <laughs> I think the laughs have it. Probably the first thing to do is start calling tradies. Definitely. OK. They're going to be hard to organise. Uh, last to inspect their room of horror are WA's Matt and Kim. I don't... Wow. wow. <laughs> look at all the crap in here. <laughs> oh, my God, look at this toilet. Check it out here. 
Yes. Ah. There's your boots, babes. It may not look like it, but these two have had some Renault experience. <laughs> <laughs> My shoe waited to go on. This is not a good start. <laughs> so I spent 14 years plastering. I hated it. But now that I'm doing architecture, I love it. Like, it's definitely the right thing for me. We're definitely going to argue. Definitely. Matt is very annoying. He'd be like, Kim, 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 babe, 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 babe. And I'm like, what? If I wasn't so annoying, I don't think Kim would like me. Our teams are straight into it. Measuring, designing. So that's bad. And sorting out that shocker of a ceiling. The only concern I had was the ceiling. It was disgusting. We were told five-star hotel room. That ceiling is not five-star hotel room, so it's got to go. And that means organising trades at very short notice. We're looking for someone to be able to help us out put in a drop ceiling. We want that done today, if possible. <laughs> We've actually just been given a challenge to do a hotel room and a bathroom in 48 hours. 48 hours? Yes. Are you kind of saying that you might not be able to do it? We had no luck getting through to tradies. They're all saying no one's going to be able to do it. I'm at a toilet. How are you, girls? <laughs> They're both on the phone. Today. We're actually on the block at the moment. No chance. OK. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. We only found out 10 minutes ago that you're on the block. It's no the eliminations. Page. How does it feel? Yeah. Scott, what's the postcode? I don't know. What's Three, the postcode? 3205. Talking to Scotty was not offer. Right. No. Hi, how are you going? Um, my awesome. name's Lisa. That's great. So, I'm, um, so all I'd need is that, like, blocks. we've got an ugly... The marker of oh. hanging a new ceiling. I might just leave you to it. <sighs> Tomorrow night, five-star boutique ceiling. ceiling. Well, you're not actually listening to me, are you? <laughs> I may as well not be here. Would you, would you know anybody but, that no. would, um... Well, we're on the block at the moment. You know the TV show? Yeah. yeah. The other big issue is bathroom fittings and furniture. They have to be selected before work can proceed. Let's head off to Reese. <laughs> the teams have a whole heap of driving ahead and we're getting them started with a brand new Suzuki Kazashi each. <laughs> oh, here we go. Our first team out on the road. Have you got keys? Yes, we do. We do. Which one have you got? Let me have a look. Front one up there. What's it called? Kaz Kazashi. Kazashi. Oh, the good time, we were the first ones out the door, the first ones to get a car, the first ones to arrive at Reese. We were just hoping that that was a bit of a pattern and we're going to be the first to win a challenge. Maybe they've had plenty of experience. The house we're living at now is one of three that we've built. I've been a bricklayer for almost uh, 10 years and we've just finished building a house for my brother now. That was great, cos it was like our own little block, cos we got to spend all his money, but yeah. design it ourselves. So this house behind me is the place that we want to renovate next. So we need to win some money on the block and get it done. Well, two rooms in two days should be a cinch. We're thinking of everything square. We don't want to round anything. And their Reese girl has just the thing. When we first arrived at Reese, we saw this vanity that we absolutely loved. And I love these. Yeah. How about I should take you over to our shower display and point to the yeah. In hindsight, we should have probably took it straight away, but the lady at Reese wanted to show us other stuff. And when she was showing us the other vanities, um, other couples started to arrive. Well, it is a competition, and there's no time to order things in. Whatever they buy has to be on the showroom floor and in stock. Hey, good thanks. How are you? I'm Maddie. It was like first in, first serve, so you just have to do the quick dash of it and see if there's anything that I like. Uh, Trouble is, everybody likes the same thing, that vanity. It's just okay. the unit on its own, so now we can go and select some stuff okay. like. And Beck is not impressed. Is your neck twitching? And they're not the only ones. Now Maddie's spotted it. I do really like that one, actually because I'm doing that kind of modular industrial <laughs> look. Get away from our vanity! <laughs> Do you like that other option? But on the block, if you snooze, you lose. Is the white one available? Cool. We've taken the white. Yeah. <laughs> we were here first, had our hearts set on a, a vanity, considering other options, and it was gone. What about that other one? Gone. Someone's just grabbed it. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Oh. Round one to Maddie. Oh, uh, yeah. When I got into race, all the other couples were in there except Matt and Kim, and I still haven't seen Matt and Kim. So I don't know what their plan is or what they're up to. Oh, my God, I'm lost. I can't believe it. I can't. Just drive, just drive. So back that way? All right, third time down this street now. I bet you the Melbourne couple have gone and picked out everything and they're back already. Not quite. One more item to road test. Comfy? Yeah. This is where you've got to be Goldilocks. It's not, not too hard, not too soft, but just right. Yeah, I love that. Just right, Goldilocks. Coming up. You have no idea how much pain I'm in. Oh. This car's about itself. Hello, sir. I don't really care. Oh my God, have I got a flat tire? George. There's a big issue now. He's having a heart attack. I need to get back to help George. If this is day one, right now, I feel like crying. We're three hours into the 48-hour floor decider challenge, and the block is deserted, except for level three. I think I'm the only person here, you know, ripping everything out. Everyone else is out looking at stuff. I mean, I haven't seen anyone else at the bin and there's no other rubbish in there besides mine. This morning, the other teams decided to stick together. But Maddie and Jared split up to spread the workload. Yeah, Don't buy too much stuff. Madison and I met in high school when we were in year nine. Jared is the perfect compliment to me. I'm a creator, he's a builder. I've been a carpenter for the last six years. First started out when I was younger working with Dad. I've just always loved making stuff with my hands. I've been working as a freelance graphic designer for about three years now. Sometimes stressful but mostly fun. I definitely think it was a really smart move. One of us staying here and getting this work done. So maybe we're a step ahead. He's not here, so they're strategically thinking of how to get everything done quicker. Maddie's come out shopping by herself, so they're going to definitely maximise their time. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to split, I think. We need to gut that room. Gut as much as you can. Drop me off at the front. I'll call you. Just... I believe we've only done one thing. Ready to rock and roll? Is that bad? You're going to have to move, girls. What's she doing? Yeah, move. I'm wondering how the sisters are going to do it. Because obviously it's a bit of a disadvantage being two women. Who are they going to call? Who are they going to get help from? I'd be very stressed out if I didn't have George. We are the difference in this competition. Everybody is married or engaged or have a trade and we're none of that. Well, we are married. <laughs> but we're not married to each other. I'm doing this with Lasana instead of my husband because he needs to stay home and look after the kids for starters. Honey, you forgot to do the washing. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't push your luck. Because we do have quite a strong personality, so you times that by two, and, and it's a bit too much for people, which I can understand oh, completely. Yeah. I mean, I've had enough of her already. <laughs> Shut up. We never bicker. Ever. Are you serious? We get along so well. Yeah. Well, what that means this. Well, they may not be Hello, married to each other, but they sure are starting to act like it. Elisa on the phone. Lysandra on the tools. Elisa on the phone. And that would... Lysandra cleaning out the room. I'm like the man in our relationship. Doing all the hard labour. So, it's Lysandra still on the tools. We both wanted to do the shopping. We're just running out of time. And Elisa out shopping. My priority is tiles, carpet court, mitre 10. Less than an hour in each of them. Matt and Kim have finally found the tile store, but they are now finding it hard to make a decision. Um, well. So hard. And there was a lot of toing and froing, and then Matt wanted to get one with lines in it, and then we were going to get mosaics as well, and then he wanted this bright red one. And... It's a bit like their house in Perth. Wow. Eclectic. We've got loads of ideas that are amazing. This is our hallway. It's got a lot of our favourite bands and favourite movies in there. When it came to the living room, we just stuck with the one colour, really. To jazz it up through in a chandelier. Really white tiles, the claw foot bath, and the candy stripe wallpaper. 
and we've got a chalkboard splash back. It's supposed to be a high-end boutique hotel and I think if we put too much into it, it's going to look a bit cheap. The choice is tough for everyone and they've got to do it quickly. Something along the lines of this. Darker. That black grout. It is, yeah. Cooler. Are you looking at the rectangles or are you... I haven't even thought about it. I need something that no one's done. Is there a massive Increase. price difference in between these two? Um, there is. Can we flip that so they don't see? Yeah. <laughs> tiles, tiles, tiles. Picking them as one thing. So how would you like to pay for that? Just on card. Perfect. Getting them back to the block is almost as hard. I'm feeling the burn of the block for sure All right now. I only just remembered I have to get the tiles back because the tile is going to make Jared now. I also have to get to Mitre 10 to get the paint and the ply for Jared to do the roof. A little bit stressful. Well, I'm really hoping the tiles fit in the boot. I've got 17 boxes. Oh, we'll be driving low. Very low. We're going to split up. Jono's going to go back and smash a room apart. We need to start making noise before noise restriction. And I'm going to go get carpet. I'm a bit pressed for time. Beck is still inside, and she seems to have too many tiles. The amount of tiles you got here is not going to fit in this pillow safely. Looking at that, it looks like there's way too much. We have to do two trips to pick up the tiles, and I'm just concerned that I don't have enough time. And George rang me, and he's quite stressed. Plenty of stress, and she knows George hates to lose. Whoa, nice save. Oh. He's really competitive and... It, it bothers me when I lose. Yeah. Like it takes hours yeah. to get over it. Yeah, yeah. he can't calm down. Yeah. I don't really like to lose. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> it's scary. Right now, that competitive nature is pushing George to his limits. Because we're removing everything, I didn't realise there's pipes running all the way through here. I'm losing it here. More problems. I oh, straight away just thought, I oh, know, what have I done? George, um, I've come to pick up the tiles and I think I've worked it out wrong. There's a big issue now. What? I've started to rip it down this wardrobe. And I could hear in his voice that he was starting to break a little bit. And there's all, like, plumbing pipes behind it. <laughs> you need to focus on... Have you, what have you done in the bathroom? I've just taken out the toilet and removed some of the tiles, that's it. I was just panicking. Yeah. Almost had a mini anxiety attack. Just d don't stress, don't stress. I'll, I'll be there soon. Alright, All right, bye. He's having a heart attack. And I need to get back to help George. I'm really worried um, about him being there by himself and I really just want to get in there and help him. If this is day one, I don't know what the next ten weeks are are going to have installed right now. I feel like crying. Want more of The Block Sky High? Head to 9msn.com.au forward slash The Block or download Jump In for exclusive interviews, videos and all the behind the scenes news you won't get anywhere else. The top three floors of The Block are seeing plenty of bathroom action. George on five, Cassandra on four, and Jared killing it on three. But on the first two floors, they've barely scratched the surface. It's 2 p.m., and Jono and Trixie, Matt and Kim have only just arrived with their tiles. Oh, they're way too heavy for me. And true to form, Matt's trades have all arrived at once. I originally thought getting trades was going to be a nightmare, but I had, like, three guys in a row that were, like, happy to just drop everything and come over. But all the guys rock up at once instead of coming at their separate times. I haven't had time to get ready for you. Oh, OK. The first thing you've got to do is clear the room. And I'm here to lend a bit of moral support. <laughs> You are going to be a lead man <laughs> fighting machine by the end of this, my friend. <laughs> Up and down the stairs. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Pick it up. Oh, he's dropped it again. <laughs> Tony, a mattress. Please. <laughs> That's it, mate. Keep running. <laughs> Up the stairs you go. All that struggling and they're on the first floor. How are they going to go if they win the penthouse? They won't survive. Around the corner, Maddie's back. 
with a Suzuki full of tiles. Jared, your lovely wife is here. So you've got all the tiles off the wall? Yeah, the tiles are about to start. Tiles are about to start? You got the tiles? They're in here. No. You two are just like almost asleep. You're so relaxed. <laughs> You're just cruising. Keeping calm is what's going to get you through a stressful situation rather than going, oh, it's not going to work. <laughs> That's not going to get you anywhere. The hardest project that we've had to work on together has probably been building our little flat. I think the hardest part was the digging because it was just so tedious. I was doing it after work and I couldn't expect Maddie to be down here for digging for hours on end when she's not built for that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get stressful sooner or later. No, I don't know if you will. This might be you guys all the way through the block, just casual. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Then again, maybe not. Oh, that is not my level, sorry. Beck's right behind Maddie, yeah. and she's definitely not relaxed. Ah, oh, Beck, I'm glad you're back. I've had a few issues, so... Have you? Yeah, I worked out um, the square meterage wrong for the room and ended up buying too many tiles. Okay. Hi, babe. Hey, Denise, no. um, so oh, now... George, she's here, she's stressed. It stressed me out. Me out. I'm vibing off you, George. So when you're like telling me how worried you are, it made me like to do still, instantly so. panic. You're right. Yeah, I'm okay. I just <laughs> I was so scared that I'd left him. Like I just <laughs> I was so worried hearing how worried you were on the phone. I'm not used to it. When you're married, you, you support each other. That's what you do, and we're together all the time. So being away from him all today, knowing how mentally stressed I was and how physically drained he was here, you feel a bit lost. Chose the heaviest tiles. Oh my god, I've nice hit peak out. I have a nice look at the traffic. The girls have been battling Melbourne traffic all day. But Trixie has really suffered. Oh, my God, what are you doing to me, GPS? Arriving at destination. No, I'm not. Driving around Melbourne was an extremely stressful thing for me. And the saddest part was I was only six minute destination to where I had to go and couldn't get there. So by the time I got out of my car, I was pretty much in tears. I've just arrived at Cover Court and I only had three options because we were the fourth last couple. Yes. Options are running pretty low okay. on stock that can be ready for tomorrow. Okay. And if that's my choice, let's just do it. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> got to keep it simple. <laughs> yeah, you've got two choices. I think I got the easiest job. I don't mind the demolishing side of things. I'm just going as hard as I can, trying to rip everything out and get to a point where she can be semi-proud of me when she returns. <laughs> I'm always proud of you. <laughs> and there's been plenty for all the family to be proud of. In 2003, we bought a Queenslander. And it was in really bad condition. We did all of that work by hand ourselves. And at that stage, I had two kids and I was pregnant. Everywhere yeah. you looked was hard work. They're all in the same boat. Just making simple decisions is getting harder and harder. I have to do heaps, but priority is tiles and... Wait for it. Minus 10. <laughs> Basically, we need paintbrushes, rollers, enamel, lotion. Do you have an idea what sort of colour paint? No. Do you need it delivered or is it...? Yeah. Um, I am just need some tiles. Nothing grabs your attention? Ugh. Hello, they're just loading the tiles in now. The Duke okay. Rocket is stuffing me about. Right. He said that he could do it tonight and now he's saying no. And the twins aren't the only ones with trades backing out. Hi, Andy, it's Trixie. Hi, Trixie. How are you going? Oh, good. At the moment, I'm most worried about the plastering on the ceiling. The last guy that had a look at it sort of umming and ahhing. Time frame. You wouldn't get it all done in the day. All right, well, thank you. Thanks for trying. OK, see you, mate. Bye. Thanks for nothing. Are we set to go? Yeah. OK. Thank you. See you later. I've been at this for a couple of hours now. I'm not having any success. Elisa has finished at Mida 10, and I think the Suzuki is full. Oh, God, who signed up for this? Oh, what am I doing? 
Of course it's legal. Don't forget Elisa's day job. Richmond's right of Yay! Woo! I'd rather have a baby any day than do what I did for that day. I'm on my way home. I have a car full of stuff. You have no idea how much pain I'm in. Oh, no. I have almost finished all the tiles. You have no idea I've done this by hand. This car's about Self. Why? Because it's got so much in it. And do you know the funny thing is, the seatbelt. Alyssa, I don't really care, no offense. Oh my god, have I got a flat tire? Oh my god. Coming up. You know why you're here and why you're doing it. And you know you're doing it for your kids. But this close, it's only <laughs> one night into it and already you miss them. It's 5pm, but instead of knocking off, the block is ramping up. There's only one hour till heavy-duty power tools are off limits. On the second floor, Trixie is back. She and Jono have a lot of catching up to do. Did you think you've done a good job? Not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get into work clothes. OK. Yeah. We designed our dream home and rebuilt it all. It took about five years. Unfortunately, at the end of that, our son was diagnosed with autism and we decided we'd probably have to sell the house to help pay for therapy. We sold the house. We made quite a loss on it. And now we're back renting. We're mainly doing this for our children. So hopefully on auction day, or we even just make some money yeah, just <laughs> for a, a deposit. <laughs> well, I'll carry him down to the bottom of the stairs and you can... No, no, it's all right. Tell you what, Trixie's not afraid of a bit of hard yakka. These things are heavy. Hard yakka followed by exhaustion. There's plenty of that for everyone. Hey, babe. Hey. Been back for about half an hour now. I get back and there's... Ceiling fixes here, the tile is coming in half an hour. We've still got like three quarters of a bathroom to smash out. Carting stuff down the flights of stairs to chuck it on the skip bin. I am knackered already. I almost don't want the penthouse suite now. <laughs> Kim doesn't want the penthouse. I don't want it anymore either. <laughs> and with 10 flights of stairs and plenty of congestion, who can blame them? Right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, right. Poor Suzuki, I'm sorry. Wow. Come home from a hard day shopping and you can't even get in the front oh. door. Oh, crap. Get used to it, guys. <laughs> Up on level five, it's turning into a family affair. George has hired his dad. Don't you worry, don't you worry. Oh, you get there. Bex got hers in too. Louis. And now cousin Louie's on the payroll as well. And now that I'm back here and with George, I feel better because I felt a bit lost without him and I, I've yeah. never had to make decisions, like, really on my own. I rely on his opinion for a lot of things. So as long as we get this tiling done, the plaster finished, um, as long as we finish the painting tonight, then all I have to worry about is accessorising everything. What's this? Just start carrying it. Two floors down, Jared and Maddie have reunited. And they're pretty happy wow. now the floor tiles are in. Oh, my gosh. I think we're going well oh. with our time schedule. Awesome. Up on four, the twins are really starting to worry. I feel like we're really behind today. We haven't um, achieved what we set out to achieve. Hi, sir. Yeah? Other people have all their tradies here. Do they? Yeah. I think we're screwed. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. We're, not, we're going to work through the night. We're not going to have any sleep. But there sleep. are positives of being on level one. <laughs> you should do you know, to walk as far. <laughs> no, we're not thinking that way. These two are okay. definitely not quitters. So it's, it's back hours. to the phone. It's going to help out heaps. Just even for a couple of hours. We're in an um, apartment block. Even if you could come and help us clean walls or putty up holes or anything, really, if you could do that, seriously, I'd kiss your feet. Please.
this. <laughs> Two hours later, their luck finally begins to turn. Seriously? There you go. Nah. It's on the second floor where the shock of day one has really hit hardest. I can't even begin to describe the pressure you're under. And, uh... You know why you're here and why you're doing it. And you know you're doing it for your kids. But this close, it's only <laughs> one night into it and already you miss them. Okay. No. No. Tomorrow on the block, Sky High. I think I got something too. Go to bed. Delirium sets in. Couldn't really stop her. She was on a mission. Budgets get blown. A lot of the things that we wanted to do are too expensive now. And the floodgates are open. It was up. Oh my God, we need a plumber. Oh my God. When the 48-hour challenge comes to an end, the pressure gets to everyone. So stressed out. But hey, two rooms in two days was never going to be easy. 